welcome back students in today's video lecture i am going to discuss the another topic related to the cycloidal curve with let's look at the question and understand it belongs to which type of curve as i told in the earlier class we are going to trace three types of curve one is the general cycloid the other one is the ap cycloid as well as the hypocycloid let's look at the question and understand it belongs to which type of curve a circle of dia 40 rolls on the circumference of another circle of dia 140 for one complete revolution without slipping name the curve and trace the curve and also locate tangent and normal at a distance of 90 from the center of the directing circle dear students if you look at this question two radiuses are given two diameters are given one is of 40 diameter the other is of 140 diameter what is the question exactly here is one circle is going to move on the circumference of the another circle let us take an example considering this two circles and look at how this is going to work out. Let this two circles if I am taking into consideration here this is my generating circle I mean the rolling circle or the moving circle and this is the directing circle. What I mean to tell you here is I am going to have an initial point P here on this circle. This circle need to move for one complete revolution on this surface of the another circle. So, when it is going to complete its revolution, let this be the initial point and this position need to finish one complete revolution. Let us look the position of the point is here now and when I turn this, the position of the point have come here. Like that so on, if you go on till this circle, roll this circle on the circumference of this circle, the bigger circle, it is going to end its point at somewhere on this. So, this is a point of the, I mean ending the point of its revolution taking into consideration all these points I am going to trace the curve such type of curve is nothing but epicycloid dear students by looking at this you can make a note of the question that the question belongs to epicycloid why because one circle is going to move on the circumference of the another circle this is a circle where the another circle is going to move on its circumference for one complete revolution without slipping so, such type of curve is nothing but the epicycloid dear student. I hope you got in the question, it is given that this is a generating circle where its diameter of 40 is given and this is a directing circle and where its diameter of 140 is given. So, with radius 20, we need to draw the generating circle and with radius 70, we are supposed to work out the directing circle. So, keeping in view, I am going to explain here using the instruments before that we are supposed to make sure of fixing your drafter as well as the scales and all the instruments to work out very fast. So, what I am going to do here is to trace this curve I am going to locate a point on the drawing sheet let that be O dash. Later as I told we are supposed to work out the generating I mean the directing circle the bigger one and its radius I mean its diameter is given as 140 so with 70 we are supposed to work out the arc we are supposed to work out the arc just draw an arc with H pencil getting you are supposed to work out the arc later we are supposed to extend this arc this from O dash a line to your right uh, sorry to the left touching this generating circle I mean the directing circle getting dear students draw at any position any angle trace a line touching the uh, generating uh, directing circle and extend it 20 outside why because we are supposed to locate and draw the generating circle which is given as 20 so extend this from 70 to 90 that is 20 so let this point be p and let this is o let this be o let this be o so, we are supposed to draw the generating circle now as the radius of the generating circle is I mean diameter is 40 with 20 radius with 20 radius let O as the center keeping O as the center draw the circle draw the circle using the instrument. So, that we are going to divide this circle now into 12 equal divisions. So, let this is a circle, 
of 20 diameter I mean the 20 radius 20 radius so along with this we have taken into consideration and extend this further similarly you are going to work out the division of circle method which I have explained in the earlier class so now 20 is the radius we have already located 20 so this has the center cut either sides of the circle cutting either sides of the circle and this point as the center cutting either sides of the circle later I hope you are following my lecture videos on YouTube where I have uploaded uh, the concepts on how to divide the circle and how to divide a line and this is how it helps you all if you practice that in the beginning itself why because we are going to divide the circle in the coming units also so be perfect in division of a circle and division of a line dear students later take your drafter and keeping it the center position and divide it into 12 equal divisions I hope you are getting my videos which I am talking and the usage of pencil to be uh, plays a very important role in engineering graphics and you are supposed to sharp your pencil from time to time to get a better drawings and why I am going to divide into 12 equal divisions as I explained in the earlier video also that we are supposed to trace uh, the free hand curves so in order to draw a free hand curve if you take more number of divisions you will be getting free hand curve dear students now so as this circle need to be given a rotation and it should end somewhere it should end somewhere with point A so how to calculate that let this I have done and made a arc later it is extended and I have drawn the circle but this circle when rotates on this circle it has some end point the initial point is P and upon rotation it is end somewhere A so we need to calculate this angle how much is the angle made by this circle to complete one revolution it is given by the formula a theta angle made this is small r by capital R into 360 degree so upon calculation this is small r is the radius of the generating circle and the capital R is the radius of the directing circle so 20 upon 40 140 I mean sorry 20 by 70 into 360 so upon calculation we got it as 102.85 make sure to carry your calculator and 102.2585 is the angle so with the help of pro circle or the protractor placing on this line so as that is of 102 or 108 uh, please make sure to take around round figure to be 103 let it be okay later you join that uh, 0 to this point and extend this so this is the angle made between so we will write here the value of theta also so theta is 102.85 degree now now if you if you if you look into the general construction of the ap uh, the cycloid we have done a division of even this pa line let this be a let this be a so that is 102 divided by 12 divisions upon calculation 102 2 5 divided by 12 we got it to be putting this value in the calculator that is 8.57 so each division need to be done into 8.57 here so again go back with the pro circle or the protractor and placing on this line o dash and o line along the line and check that 8.57 so 8.57 so I am going to take somewhere between 8 and 9 here we are going to follow the trail and error method dear students to divide this so I got a point here I have taken it as 8.57 approximate to something around 9 or in between 8, point, 8 and 9 so this is my point what I am going to do here is that the first division I am going to measure with this the compass let us check till A whether it is reaching the 12 equal divisions or not. So, let this is my 1, 1 is already done on this. So, let this is 2, next it is 2 and 3, 
4 getting here students 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 we got bit of extra we got only the 11 divisions on it like uh, we need to get 12 divisions right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 so what i am going to do here is now using a trail and error method so i am going to reduce the distance to i have taken 9 so we'll take into consideration uh, 8.5 8.5 or bit reducing its distance. I am going to just lessen the distance here with this so that let us see whether we are going to get we are supposed to follow the trail and error method to work out this. So, this is 1 and 2 getting hope you are getting dear students do not confuse 3 and 4 5 6 hope you are going to work out the trail and error method here to get uh, 7, 8, 8 and 9, 10, 10, 11, 10, oh God. Again, we are getting bit less lengthy in its curve. So, let us go with the another trail and error method by reducing the size of this curve. So, that we are going to get, so that we are going to get uh, the exact division. So, this is how you need to work out until you get this. So, then only you are going to get uh, the exact divisions of the arc as it is easy for you all to work out division of uh, the uh, line, but coming to arc you are supposed to work out. Let us cross check once again whether we have done correct or not. So, this is uh, where I have located exactly at 102. Okay, let it be though the first um, the angle is 8 point, uh, 8 point something. So, we are going to take here now at 8.5 in between exact and draw this and draw this from the center of the directing circle of the directing circle and taking this as the distance measure this angle as the distance with your compass and divide it into equal this is 1 now this is 1 point next 2 3 4 5 so, once we have done with the 12 divisions, so later what I am going to do here is, I am going to draw the locus of center, locus of center is a point where from center O dash to O is the radius as we have done locus of center for the general method here to make the general uh, for the arc O dash and O is a radius and draw an arc till P A, getting dear students. So, and extend this point, extend this line, extend this line and let this be O B as we have given even in the general method this is O B. This is how your work out. Later what I am going to do here is I am extending these all lines from the directing circle center to reach uh, to reach this uh, uh, directing line to center to the locus of center let that be O 1. Okay. So, similarly work out accordingly from the center to draw a lines from each and every point let that be O 2, O 3 getting dear students follow like this all the steps 
O 4. I hope you are going to use 2 H pencil to work out this all and only the final curve need to be done in H B pencil. So, few of the instruments may have errors, please kindly check uh, your instruments uh, where the value is exactly reading. Few instruments may have 0 0.01 or 0 0.1 error in its scales. So, make sure to cross check uh, your whether your instruments are error free or not. So, this is how you are supposed to work out the Tibble divisions in order to draw the epicycloid. And in similar manner we have divided uh, I mean for a general method that as it is a line we have divided. So, these all are the points O 1, O 2, this is O 3, O 4, O 5, O 6, O 7, O 8, O 9, 10 and O 11 and finally, this is the 12th division. This is how we are supposed to work out to make the divisions. Later, as this circle to be given name, this is P and this is 1, is not it? This is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and this is 9, 10, 11 and 12. And I need to give in for this, this is the initial position. So, this is 1, this is 2, 3 and this is 4, 5, 6, 7 and this is 8 and this is 9 and this is 10. So, I need to draw even as I am going to rotate this circle, is not it? I am going to rotate this circle. So, this to be given a position uh, of the circle. I am going to trace the arcs from the local uh, center. I mean direct ring circle to from 1 to 3 points of the circle. Upon rolling this circle, we are supposed to get the intersections. So, O dash and 1 is the radius, we are supposed to trace arc and O dash is the center, O dash and this is it. So, extend this arc. So, that upon rotation of the circle, we will be getting the intersections of the circle as well as the arc. So, we are going to see that next is O 2 and O 2 da O dash 2 is the radius. So, we are supposed to trace the arc curve reaching this. So, similarly O 3 and uh, 9 and 3 will be on same path is not it? We have done 9 and 3 will be on same so, and the locus of center as well as the uh, O 9 is not common here. Why? Because they are not straight later 8 and 4 O dash and 8 is the radius and we are supposed to work out draw this arcs and 5 and 7 also we are going to get one more arc. Similarly, uh, like 12 and 6 will be only one arc with one, one number why because uh, they are being divided into 12 equal divisions. So, we are getting the 12 arc as well as the uh, 6 only one division. So, this is how you are supposed to work out to trace this uh, epicycloid. Later, what we have done in the general construction of uh, uh, the uh, general cycloid, the we are going to locate the center point as O 1 to O 12 now and uh, the radius is radius of the moving circle, the generating circle that is 20. Now, it is moving as the center position is not going to vary. So, I am going to take O 1 is a radius and cutting the first line. Getting here students, the first line need to be marked. So, this is the first line, I mean 1 and 10 along this. So, next O2, please make sure you write down the numbers and letters in light before uh, making it very fair. So, this is O2 point. So, this is P1, the point position, and this is P2. So, later O3, radius you are not going to disturb and cut the third line and O 4 4, O 5 5 the fifth one to your left you are going to cut in the beginning and O 6 6, O 6 6 it is going to cut here on the edge the top point here and later O 7, O 7 seventh to your right you are going to cut now O 8 8, 
O nine nine, isn't it? O ten O ten ten, O eleven eleven, and O twelve twelve. So it is going to cut the twelfth arc here, dear students. So make sure to carry your H pencil and mark all these dots from the the intersection points. So this is how you are going to make. Uh, that's the reason I've taken into consideration the twelve divisions to get a smooth curve. So once you take the twelve divisions, you are going to get the smooth curve. Now with the HB pencil, with HB pencil. we are going to work out hb pencil we are going to trace the the final curve without lifting your hand so this is how so please do sharp your pencil from time to time to get a better uh, uh, i mean the free hand curve so that so you will be getting a final touching of the curve so even the directing circle pa line also need to be made dark with h hb pencil so this is how you are supposed to construct the epicycloid it is also asked to work out in the question if you see uh naming the curve is epicycloid is done also locate tangent and normal at a distance of 90 from the center of directing circle so what is the center this is the center isn't it this is the center of the directing circle it is asked to draw a distance of 90 now check with the scale uh where the 90 point is touching the arc the final epicycloid so check it with this so 90 is touching somewhere here isn't it so i am getting a point of 90 here on the curve from the center of this so let this point be m at this point be m and radius to be taken as 20 why because the radius of the generating circle is 20 and m as the point as the center as we have done for the general construction and locus of center cut the locus of center point this is a radius and 20 I'll let the name be C of this, and drop this to the drop this to the directing circle center. Getting the answer when dropping it to the directing circle center. Then while dropping this line is touching the P A line here. Let that point be N. Let the point be N. Now join this N to M. Join this N to M. Join N to M. And perpendicular to this, fixing your drafter scale. For this, a perpendicular is this. Take this here and place it where a line passing through M is the tangent to the curve. Is tangent to the curve. This is T and T dash. This is how you are supposed to draw the tangent and normal. And do not forget to write uh, uh, theta here. Very neat. And the value you have already kept it out. And the direction of the circle. as well as draw write the radius of the given uh, i mean uh, the generating directing circle radius as well as till where you have got this uh, tangent and normal point also try to work out the dimensions which are all given in the uh, question all the numerical values and this is given as uh, the radius and this is to work out the tangent and normal that is 90 is given here and to work out this this is asked as 140 is the diameter and this is 70 and make sure to work out even the circle diameter diameter of the rolling circle so the projection lines please do follow each and every point what i am talking here and this is to be written above and this value is given as uh 40 so this is how you are supposed to trace the epicycloid dear students and make sure to work out uh, with all the different types of pencils and highlight only the the final curve tangent and normal in hb pencil and make sure your arrow heads lettering and numbering to be very neat 
hope you are going to follow my topics and they are helping you a lot and for more videos please try to uh, subscribe like and share my channel thank you